Gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the fortunate ones. Um, like beware of quiet, intimate moments, and I'm like, thank you. You should really beware of them. They're terrifying. <laughs> intimate terrifying moments are horrifying. Like intimate. <laughs> 
There's going to be a few of them in this set, so just be careful out there, guys. It's terrifying. Oh, we're fortunate ones. We're from Newfoundland, Canada. As 98% of you are as well, I'm sure. <laughs> but we, uh, we come from St. John's, which is a, a quaint suburb of Petty Harbor. It's great to be here in, uh, in Washington, D.C. This, is a, this is a great town. It's a great honor to be here, guys. Thank really you so cool. much for coming. This is awesome. I think on this tour we've gotten to play about, oh, 40 or 50 new places, so thanks to Alan and his crew for having us. Yeah, we're going to play some new and old songs for you, and probably all of them are new to you, so that's cool. <laughs> Easy peasy. We've got a new record to us, a new, new new record coming out on May 25th, and uh, we're going to play a bunch of songs from that for you. Uh, this is one of those songs. It's called Hold Fast. And you know what? It doesn't matter. It's for everybody. It's not, it does, it's not uh, Democratic. It's not Republican. It's for everyone. Easy, Andrew. Easy. Anyone who needs to hold fast, this song's for you. <laughs> Someone must have been tipped off that we were coming because there was secret service everywhere today. <laughs> yeah, we needed to have lanyards and everything. It was crazy. They were frightened by the accordion. <laughs> that piano looks so friggin' strange. 
<laughs> We're gonna play an old, old song for you now. An old, new one for you, but an old, old one for us. This is called Wherever You Go. And I gotta say that I've been thinking about, about this song. You know, the idea behind it being that wherever you go, you should go with your heart. And, and this tour has been an, an incredible lesson in that for us. Uh, being able to, to be out on the road with a, a hero of ours every night, it's, it's an incredible journey. And, uh, and to have Alan closing for us every night has been great. <laughs> really cool. My brother and uh, his fiance are uh, are getting married in August, and so yeah, cool. <laughs> and uh, and so I had this song in it that I had written, and I thought, oh man, this song this would be perfect as a wedding gift to my brother and his fiance. I thought this this could be the perfect first dance song. And so I got my brother and his fiance over, and I played the song for them, and us. Man, I was so excited. I was like, guys, so, like, what do you, what do you think of this song? It's like, first dance, right? And they were like, 
Yeah, you know, it's pretty good. <laughs> they were like, it's, it's a good, good song, good gift idea, but, you know, we are registered at Bed Bath & Beyond, so... <laughs> You know, the, uh, the side tables aren't going to buy themselves. And uh, the wicker chair, you know, we need that, so. Anyway, we, we decided that we would pick a, an Ed Sheeran song. That's really nice of you to give Ed his big break, guys. Thanks. That's awesome. So as I've been saying to all the strangers all across your fair country, if any of you are getting married, any of you are thinking of proposing or renewing your vows, you can just have this song. Because my own brother didn't want it. And you can have it, whoever that was. I can't see a thing. You, somewhere? Yes? It's yours. You can all have it. This is not for my brother. This is a song called Before You. It is available here tonight. That's not coincidental. <laughs> and uh, if any of you know or hear of my brother, don't ever let him hear this again because he does it's off limits. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten some like hate tweets or something. Don't do that though. Come on. Don't, don't hate tweet him. If anything, we should be hate tweeting Ed Sheeran for taking our spot. <laughs> don't do that either. He's a lovely guy. He's actually he's backstage now. He's going to come out and sing eventually. I can't promise that actually, so asterisks, uh, not gonna happen. Anyway, here's our stupid song that my brother didn't like. We've also uh, we've had the great privilege of, of, of becoming 
good friends and and uh, and peers with Alan over the last number of years, and and one of the great benefits and and perks of that relationship has been being able to to write songs uh, with Alan. And on our new record that's coming out in May, uh, we've we've had the pleasure of being able to write a few songs with Alan for that record, and we're going to play one of those for you now. Um, we wrote this in Alan's basement, and uh, you know. It's really cool to say that we got to do that, I think. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Retinal scans to get in and all that. <laughs> this is a song called Somebody Like You. Basically like our what are you at, you know? <laughs> oh my God. We hope you like it, because either way, if you don't, it's already on the new record, so. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Somebody like you, anybody like you, somebody like you. I wanted something, wanted it back. You stole the heart I never ever knew I had and took away into the night. A running I was never gonna make it right. We've, uh, we've made uh, an EP for this tour. Uh, an EP is, is uh, what we've been saying, is a fancy word for half of a full-length album. <laughs> and uh, it's called the Northern Star EP, and, and we made it just for this tour. And, uh, and so we're going to play the title track for you now. And uh, yeah, it's called Northern Star. And i got to say again, it's really cool to be here. This is an amazing city. Yeah, what a crazy pleasure to be here. Where are we going after, all of us? What are we doing? Here. <laughs> I guess we could just stay here. Yeah, certainly. Northern Star. Thank you. This is, well, this is great. Thank you. You wake a thousand miles away and you are
inside the hammer of your heart to know where you are going. You gotta find out. Feels like Saturday almost, in a way, you know. You guys don't do much on Mondays in this town, do you? <laughs> We're gonna uh, do a song for you now that, um, that was also written with Alan and a, another good friend of ours from back home in Newfoundland named Tim Baker from a band called Hey Rosetta. And uh, this, song, this song was written uh, about the forest fires in Fort McMurray, Alberta in 2016. And if you're not familiar with those, it was a it was an incredibly harrowing time in Alberta, Fort McMurray. Um, wildfires just kind of engulfed and surrounded the town and kind of swept through this town, which which looms really large in Newfoundland because a lot of a lot of our friends and family have moved to Fort McMurray for work, set up families and lives out there. And so to be watching this kind of scene unfold from across the country was quite a it's quite a scary thing. And you know. Basically what you would see is people grabbing up whatever they could, putting their kids and their families into their vehicles and just evacuating the city, not knowing what they were gonna come back to, if they were gonna come back to anything at all. And at the same time as you were seeing that, what, what you were seeing as well was EMTs and firefighters and uh, doctors and police officers and paramedics running headlong into these flames to try to help the people of Fort McMurray to salvage what they could. And it was a really kind of, it was an odd juxtaposition because it was a really scary time, but it, was, it also showed you the, a lot of hope in a way that, that people, you know, were rallying behind the people of Fort McMurray and it did, it meant quite a lot. And so we wanted to write a song uh, for the people of Fort McMurray, in particular those first responders. Um, this is a song of hope and resilience, and uh, we hope you like it, and maybe you can uh, find a bit of that hope and resilience in it as well. This is for the people of Fort Mac. It's called Steady As She Goes.
fortunate ones from Newfoundland. It's great to be here with you. Please come say hello afterwards. We've got some CDs and things. And it's a real honor and a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you so much. And thanks to everyone at the Hamilton for having us. It's a real pleasure. Thank you.
Thank you very much.